Right here on this slide, we have a question that was posted on Facebook. And 74% of the users that actually responded to it got it wrong. Okay, the, this is a question right here, as you can see, posted by pro classroomprofessor.com. 7 minus 1 times 0 plus 3 divided by 3. Now, here's the question I posed to you. Why did so many people get it wrong? Well, that's easy, because they did not follow the correct order of operations. Today I'm going to talk to you about order of operations. Now before we move into the lesson, let's quickly discuss the title. Operations. Operations means the four math symbols, math operations that you use, which are addition, traction, multiplication, and division. Now guys, so you're going to hear me refer to these as homies and these as homies because they have each other's back. Now, think about it when you were in first, second grade, you used to do simple, simple math problems like 2 plus 7, which is 9. And then your teacher would ask you to check your work. Well, how would you do it? You would check it by doing the opposite. What's the opposite of sub addition? Subtraction. 9 minus 7 is 2. And that's where fact families come into play. But you see how they have each other's back? Right? Now let's do a, an example with multiplication. 4 times 3, your answer is 12. Well, what if you want to check your answer? You check your answer by using the opposite operation. What's the opposite of multiplication? division. 12 divided by 4, my answer is 3. And that's why I call them the homies, because they have each other's back. Now, let's discuss the other part of the title, order. Order is very, very important, guys. Think about it. Let's say that you're getting ready to go to school, okay, and you are putting on your shoes and after you put your shoes on you put your socks on what's gonna happen you're gonna look real crazy okay that's not the order in which you do it the correct order to do it is put your socks on and then your tennis shoes now just like that in math it is very very important to put these operations in order okay and I'm gonna show you how to put them in order by following what I call germ desk Germdus is very, very important, and you follow germdus when you have more than one operation. If you have 2 plus 3, that's real easy. You already know that the answer is 5. Notice, in this problem, you only have one operation, which is addition. But what happens if you have 2 plus 1 times 3? And by the way, guys, this symbol right here is times. Okay, it's the same thing as 2 plus 1 times 3. In sixth grade, you're gonna have me, you're gonna see me use this one a lot. So get used to it. Um, if you're a little confused, please don't feel frightened. Don't feel confused. I'm gonna be using it almost every day in the classroom. You'll get used to it, don't worry about it. Alright, well, let's go back to the topic. In this case, guys, how many operations do you have? You have two. So I have to put them in order. I have to follow an order. And the order to follow is germdes. I'm going to explain this. So please pay attention. G stands for grouping symbols. Okay, two plus one. It's in parentheses, or I can put it in something called a bracket. You see how the two and the one are inside a group? That is why it's called grouping symbols. That's what the G stands for. E and R is the next step. So here's the first step and here's the second step. This is the second order. E represents exponents like 2 to the third power. R stands for roots and radicals. Don't worry about that part guys. Um, you will need this more when you get to 7th and 8th grade. The third step it's multiplication or division. That's the homies. Y'all remember that? Okay. That's the homies. 
and the fourth step the very last step the last step that you should do is addition or subtraction whichever you see first so I'm gonna put the symbols here for you addition and subtraction alright guys so let's take a look at the problem I'm gonna rewrite the problem one more time okay I'm gonna write it right under here let's take a look at it 2 plus 1 times remember this is times 3 alright well we have more than one operation so I have to follow germ does well let's do step number one that's the first order G grouping symbols do I have any grouping symbols no okay so scratch this off the next step is E exponents do I have any exponents no scratch that off the third step is multiplication or division whichever you see first well I see multiplication I'm circling it now the reason I circle it is so my eyes can focus there let's do that one times three well that's easy that's three bring down what you haven't used the plus and the two now I don't care about this problem anymore it's gonna get smaller okay I already did multiplication and or division what's my last step what's my fourth step addition or subtraction well obviously I'm gonna do addition what's two plus three my answer is five okay now that is the correct way of doing it let me quickly show you the wrong way of doing it I'm gonna rewrite the same problem two plus one times three all right a kid that doesn't know how to follow orders is gonna go from left to right they're gonna say oh well look two plus one that's easy that's three three times three um, oh good okay I'm done my answer is nine well guess what you did not follow the order therefore that's wrong look at the difference guys if you do it correctly your answer should be five and if you do it wrong your answer is nine so it's gonna be very very important that you follow the order of operations let's try this one eight divided by two times seven minus three plus four alright now some of you looking at it are gonna be like whoa miss that's too long oh it is hard don't get all these negative thoughts in your head guys it is super duper easy now let's see how many operations do we have here we have division multiplication subtraction and addition we have four operations so automatically you should know that you need to follow the order of operations which is germ does now guys I want to see germ does written every single time that you have more than one operation please do not forget that okay alright so I wrote it out this is gonna help me writing this out is really really gonna help me make sure that I do everything in order okay so let's do step number one do I have any groups well yes I do I have it right here you see the parentheses there's my grouping symbol well let's do that first notice that I circled it so my eyes can go directly there just focus where the circle is that's easy can you guys do that what's three plus four seven alright now that I did that I'm gonna bring everything in the problem above that I haven't touched I haven't touched the minus the seven the times the two the division or the eight alright I'm no longer worried about that that is gone I don't need to pay attention to that alright let's do the next step I'm done with grouping symbols step number two E exponents do I have exponents nope I do not let's get rid of that what's the third step now pay attention here watch this the third step is multiplication or division whichever you see first now just the way you read from left to right okay which one do you see first 
Well, I see division first, so I'm going to circle it. You see how I'm circling it? Have your eyes just right there. Let's do that. What's 8 divided by 2? Well, 8 divided by 2 is 4. That's too easy. Let's bring down what you haven't touched. The times, the 7, the minus, and the 7. I don't care about this problem anymore. All right, I already did division. Now, what's next? Multiplication or subtraction? We'll go back to germ desk. What comes first? Multiplication. So let's do that. 4 times 7 is 28. Bring down what you haven't used, the minus and the 7. Okay, the last step, guys, is addition or subtraction, whichever you see first. Well, I don't have any addition, so I don't have to worry about that. All I have to do is my last step. 28 minus 7 is 21. That is my final answer. Now, let's look at the problem from the very beginning. What do you notice? It started going from big to smaller to smaller to smaller and finally got my answer. Now, at first it looked kind of long and you're like, oh my God, this is going to be so hard. But guys, all you're doing is what's inside those circles. Okay, you're doing one little step at a time. Super duper easy. Nothing hard about it. So please don't stress on it. Let's go ahead and try another problem. All right, here I have 4 to the second power plus 3 times 4 minus 2. Well, let's look. I have addition, multiplication, and subtraction. Oh, snap. I have three operations. What does that tell me? That tells me I have to use germ desk. I have to use the order of operations. I have to put these operations in the correct order. All right. Remember to connect the homies. Multiplication and division and then addition or subtraction. All right, let's follow it, guys. Super duper easy. Step number one, grouping symbols. Do you have it? Nope, I don't have any parentheses and I don't have any brackets. Get rid of it. Step number two, E, exponents. Do I have that? Oh yeah, I sure do. You see the little guy telling the big guy what to do? Okay, here is my exponents. So that's step number one. Now, guys, anytime you have an exponent, I need to see your work. Because a lot of the times, the kids think this means 4 times 2. 4 times 2 is 8. That is not what it means. What this means is the little number, you see the little number up here? The 2 is telling the 4, hey, I want to see you split. And the 4 says, okay, 4 times 4. How many times do you see the 4? 2 times. What's 4 times 4? 16. So if you have an exponent, I expect to see your work. Okay? And I'm not doing it to make you do extra work. I'm doing it to help you so you can make less mistakes. All right? So let's write our answer. 16. Bring down everything you haven't used. The plus, the 3, the times, the 4, the minus, and the 2. All right? I'm done with the top one. All right. E, exponents, we're done. What is step number three? Multiplication or division, whichever you see first. Well, I see multiplication right here. I circled it. What is three times four? That's super easy. Twelve. Bring down what you haven't used. The minus, the two, the plus, and the sixteen. All right, I am done with multiplication. Do I have division? Nope, I do not. What's my last step? Addition or subtraction, whichever you see first. Well, here I see addition first. I see that before subtraction. So 16 plus 12, that's 28. Bring down what you haven't used, the minus and the 2. Okay. And my last step is obviously to subtract. 28 minus 2, my answer is 26. Now, notice, guys, I did not necessarily go from left to right. Okay? 
I did the order of operations. Now let's do a simple, simple one. Okay, here I have 10 minus 2 plus 8 times 2. Okay, this is the last example, and then I'm going to have you guys try some on your own. All right, let's see. I have 1, 2, 3. I have three operations. I have subtraction, addition, and multiplication. That already tells me I have to use germ dust. And remember, guys, I want to see this every time you have more than one operation. Don't forget, connect the homies. They have each other's back. All right, here we go. Step number one, do we have grouping symbols? Nope, we don't. Step number two, do we have exponents? Nah, we don't have that either. Step number three, multiplication or division, whichever you see first. Well, I see multiplication right here. Eight times two, that's 16. Bring down what you haven't used, the plus, the two, the minus, and the 10. All right, so in this case, I'm done with multiplication. Do you have division? No, I don't. All right, pay attention to this step, guys. My next step, look right over here, okay? Right where my pen is. What's my next step? Addition or subtraction, whichever you see first. They're the homies, guys. They got each other's back. So whichever you see first. What do you see first? Do you see addition or do you see subtraction first? Well, I see subtraction first. So circle it. 10 minus 2 is 8. Bring down what you haven't used. The plus and the 16. And then, obviously, you already did subtraction. So now you're going to use addition. 8 plus 16, that gives me 24. That is my final answer. All right, guys. Well, I hope that this little preview uh, has shown you a little bit. I hope I didn't confuse anyone. And make sure, I'm going to say this one more time, if you have more than one operation, please use germ dust. If you do not use germ dust, if you do not use that order, you are going to get it wrong, okay? But again, guys, notice what happens. Every time you start with the long problem, it gets smaller and smaller and smaller. And it's not hard. It's super easy. Okay, now that we uh, went over the correct order of operations using germ tests, do you recall seeing a problem at the very beginning of the video? Well, that same problem that was posted on Facebook had over 70,000 people that actually saw it. Out of those 70,000 people, only 6,000 were brave enough to answer it, and they left comments. And about uh, there was about 40, 140 shares on it, and over 400 people liked the post. But more than 15,000 interactions occurred with the post. Now let's take a quick look at the question again. It's right here. 7 minus 1 times 0 plus 3 divided by 3. Let's see if you can answer. Are you going to be part of the 74 74% or are you going to be part of the percentage that got it correct? Make sure you use what we reviewed in the video. You must use germ dust. Grouping symbols, exponents, roots and radicals. Again, don't worry so much about this part until you get to 7th or 8th grade multiplication or division, whichever you see first, addition or subtraction, whichever you see first. Those are the steps. Go ahead and give this a try, and in the next slide, I will give you the correct answer. Let's see how you do. Go ahead and put this on pause. And the correct answer is 8. 8 is the correct answer. If you followed the order of operations, you should have gotten 8. Now, take a look at this graph. 33 people said the answer was 0. 368, that is the most popular wrong answer. 
368 people said the answer was 1. 136 people said the answer was 3. 54 said their answer was 6. 11 people said their answer was 7. 223 said the answer was 8, which is the correct answer, by the way. And 38 people chose a complete different number. Where do you fall? I hope you fall in this category, in the correct category. I hope this video helped. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. Thanks.